The idea for A Cost of a Soul came from really two things. One, the desire to create a film noir. I'm a huge film noir buff. I think it's one of the quintessential American genres of cinema. And two, my city of Philadelphia had one of the highest murder rates in the country. We shot in a lot of neighborhoods that cameras rarely dare to enter. Tragically, there were four drug-related homicides at four of our production locations within days of filming there. So what we did was we built community relations and essentially the, the communities, the people living in these neighborhoods saw the integrity of what we were doing in the production and they embraced us and they even ended up protecting us. Building those community relationships helped get that film made in the first place. And I think just that initial me message he had from the jump just had everybody on board. You forgot what it's like down here. Yeah, I do what I gotta do. But nobody take better care of this neighborhood better than I do, man. You are not the solution, Darnell. You're the problem. Here you have two, two uh, veterans coming from one war zone. There's the Middle East, and they come home to the war zone which is the neighborhoods that they grew up in, and the war zone that they grew up in proves to be even more dangerous than the war zone they went and served their country for. I can't tell you how many times we heard when we were shooting the stories of Army, Marines, who were deployed, did, did you know one or two combat tours, served their country, came home and wound up getting shot in the streets they grew up in. Just playing a soldier coming home from the war in Iraq alone is, is a feat within itself. And I can speak for both of us that we really tried our best to uh, live up to maybe say those expectations of like, you know, doing a soldier justice and, and portraying it as best as possible. So many people have told us how much the film uh, related to so many different audiences and so many people in parts of the world because this story is a universal story, you know, and, and crime is a thing that just happens everywhere. It's not in just North Philadelphia, you know, that's happening all the time. What is this, huh? What is this? This is people's lives! What you got? You don't got shit! You don't even got a car! You a punk! It was one of the best scripts I've ever seen, and I was just like, let me play this part. And then once you get the role, we really had to trust each other because Sean's description of me was that I looked like a yoga instructor when I came into the, the audition. I had long hair and I was as thin as I am now and, and he was just like, you know, I envisioned Tommy as something else, can you, can you do this? And I said, trust me, I can. Train three hours a day and gain 25 pounds to play the part in, in three weeks to try to, at least as best as I could, represent and talk, take on a guy who can do actions that are almost superhuman. You're an old man. You missed the boat. You're gonna die poor. That ain't my problem. You understand me? Uh, Tommy, I think he's in unusual circumstances because he's he was a criminal before he goes into the Marines. His hope in going into the Marines was to get out of the life of crime that he was involved in, but he's left this daughter, Hope, behind, who was not even born when he when he when he entered the service. You left me here pregnant and alone. For well, each daughter, what? What are those? They're medals. You get them when you do something good. Did you do something good? No. The trust that developed between me and Sean is we just dialogued on the phone and he, he really, he's, he's very intuitive. He, he really felt me out about the way I worked and what would help me the best to give him what he needed. And when we were on set, I always felt like there was no questioning of either us, of us. And, yeah, he's a first-time director, but he was, he was the most mindful director I had ever worked with up to this point. The performances are just incredible. The way they were able to just come in and embody the, the subtle complexities of each character and make them human was just incredible. On the other hand, some of the actors I have never acted before. The African-American mother in the film, played by um, Diane Johnson, it's her first role. She's incredible because she's not acting. The life that she's lived is very similar and I touched upon her own past experiences and almost in a way play a psychiatrist in order to tap into those emotions and pull those emotions out. I'm losing another story. No, no, I'm here now. That's not gonna happen. My, my goal is really just to get people to think. Just to get people to think about you know, what's happening, not just in the movie or in the country, just 
in the world and just open it up to open them up to an experience that allows them hopefully to grow as people. I kill people. That's what I do. You got a pretty nice looking family. What did you do? You put a family into this? Trying to help my family. I've cashed in enough blood-soaked paychecks to know I'm gonna have to pay for what I've done.